Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning about the basic of addition. I hope that you could still remember that lesson because that would be very important in the lesson that we'll have for today. Because today, I will teach you the different ways to add. There are more ways to do addition. And here are some ways. Number one, you may use counters. What do I mean when I say counters? You can use objects like popsicle sticks, pictures, or real objects that you have at home. If you're having difficulty counting, all you have to do is represent each number that you are going to count with objects or real objects or could be pictures. And you put them there so that you could put them together and you would come out with the right answer. Then let us take a look at this example with an object. One ice drop plus two ice drops equals... We can count them. One, two, three. One plus two equals three. Adding this number became so easy with us because we used pictures like this. Now, another one. We could use our fingers. You should be familiar with your fingers. So you should know that this hand has five, this another hand has five, and when we put them together, they become 10 fingers in all. So let us take a look at this. So we got here one, two, three, four, five, and then you would have five and one, six, five and two, seven, five and three, eight, five and four, nine, five and five, ten. You should practice counting your fingers. Let us take a look at this one and use our fingers. One, two, three fingers plus two fingers equals, you may count all your fingers together. You could have two or three plus two, three plus two, and then you put them together and they make Five. Very good. That's three plus two equals five. So that became easy because we used our fingers. Another one. We could use number lines, which is, I think, for preschools like you is more complicated. But for elementary, this is very, very useful. You should have number line like this. You can make use of this. This line represents the numbers. Now, let me show you how we're going to use the number line in this example. Here, I have encircled number four in the number line. So, we got here a total of 10. And then, I will make steps or skips. One, two, and three. One, two two, three. And where did this arrow stop? Very good. In number seven, you could write it this way. You could say four plus three equals seven. Your answer is always the number where the arrow stopped. Did you get it? Very good. Okay, now we could also use counting on. How do we do the counting on? Begin with the next number to the bigger number and count on. Let me give you an example. Here, I have 8 plus 6. First, you have to decide which is bigger. Is it 8 or 6? In this case, it's 8. Very good. Now, you don't have to count the number 8 anymore, but you think of the next number to number 8. What's next to number 8? That's very good. And you count on, you just have to add 6. 8, what's next? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So your answer is 14. What is the benefit of this counting on? You are saving much time because you don't have to count the bigger number anymore. And this is very useful if you are counting bigger numbers, that the answer is more than 10. 
Another example. 3 plus 7. Which is bigger? 3 or 7? Very good. It's 7. So you think of the next number to 7. And you will just add 3. 7, 8, 9, 10. And the answer is 10. Easy? Yes. Next. 2 plus 9. Which is bigger or larger? Is it 2 or 9? Great, it's 9. Now you think of the next number to 9, and you just add 2. 9, 10, 11. So the answer is 11. Very easy, right? And it's faster. It saves so much time. Okay, next is almost the same as counting on. This is brain and fingers. How are we going to use our brain and our fingers? Here it is. Put the larger number in your brain and the lesser number on your fingers. Then do counting on. So I told you they are almost the same. I have an example. So I have here 6 plus 4. Which is bigger, 6 or 4? Very good. So you have to put the number 6 in your brain. Let's put number 6 in our brain. 6. Okay, next. 4 is the lesser one, so we have to put them on our fingers. So we got here 6 and 4 here. So let's put them on our fingers. Now go 4. There are 6 and 4. Now let us count on. 6. What's next to 6? 7, 8, 9, 10. So you got 10. Easy? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's have more examples. Let us try the following by using our brain and our finger. 5 plus 4. 5 is the bigger number or the larger number, so you got to put it in your brain. 5 and then put the 4 in your fingers. Okay, 5 and 4. What's next to 5? 6, 7, 8, 9. Very good. Next, how about 6 plus 4? Which is larger, the 6 or the 4? Yes, it's 6. So you put it in your brain now. 6 and then 4 on your fingers. 4. What's next to 6? Count on. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Easy. Very, very easy. Another example. 7 plus 6. See? The answer here is more than 10, of course. So the brain and the fingers are very, very useful here. So we got 7 here because that's larger and 6 here on our fingers. So we got 7, what's next to 7? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Great! Children, see that? Addition becomes so easy if we use different techniques on doing them. So, with those five ways that I've just discussed with you today, you choose the best one that suits or fits you. And that is what you're going to practice. If brain and fingers would be very easy for you, then practice using that. So counting and adding would become easier for you. If it's counting out, then do it. If it's number nine, then do it. If it's with counter, then do it. Children, it's just a matter of practice. I hope that you could do more addition in the coming days, and I hope that you could use all these ways that I've just discussed with you today. Thank you so much for listening. Bye! Love, love.